Hey guys, how's it going? So here I have the Venom Pro 3 battery charger. And it's a great charger. I've already took it out of the box and used it before. But I just decided I thought I'd just do a review on it. So let's just open it up. So with it, it comes with the manual, the charger itself. And then all of these different plugs to charge all different kinds of batteries. But for my battery, I actually soldered on so I could charge my battery with the banana clip charger. So, about the charger. It's a great charger. It ch can charge... Um... What is it? Nickel cadmium batteries, nickel metal hydrate, lipo batteries, and PB batteries, which are like this, if you don't know what a PB battery is. So, let's just plug it in, and I will show you how it works. So, right now, I have it set to charge my 2000 milliamp nickel metal hydrate battery. So you can see, so if it has, if it's a 2000 milliamp, you set it at 2 amps. If it's a 3600 milliamp, you have to set it at 3.6 amps and it will recognize the battery. Um, and if you don't have the battery at the right amperage, it will alarm and I don't know if it'll shut on or off or what but as you can see you can do nickel metal hydrate nickel cadmium PB you can save your charging um, level I guess you could say uh, you can load your data um, that's just to program it uh, you can do the lithium battery meter can charge a lipo battery and we're back to nickel metal hydrate and you can change it and you can select the amperage you just press up or down as you can see and it says that it can charge uh, lipo lithium ion batteries uh, one to six cells um, as you can see right there if it'll focus uh, you can do one to 15 cell nickel metal hydrate or nickel cadmium two to 20 volt uh, lead acid battery uh, the charge rate is 0.1 amp to 7 amp. The discharge rate is 0.1 to 1 amp. And I'll show you all the plugs that it comes with. I'll just show it to you on the box. It comes with the EC5 plug, EC3 plug, Dean's plug, which I believe go on um, LiPo batteries, the Tamiya plug, the receiver plug, which is um, where you can solder it on, XT60 plug, uh, alligator clips so you can charge your PB battery if it has terminals, and the JST plug. And also you can see that'll focus right there. So it will accept uh, your normal 120 volt, 115 volt um, AC power out of your wall and you can uh, use um, the alligator clip plug-in right here to charge it or put uh, battery power uh, like a 12 volt battery out of your car or like that PB battery I showed you 
you can plug it in there so you can just use car battery or whatever to charge it and then you got your normal terminals so you can uh, plug it in with your plug and then there's all your lipo battery plugins and it's got a nice two nice fans to keep it cool and it'll automatically shut off if it gets too hot um, and it you can balance all your lipo cells and if you plug in your battery to it it will monitor voltage amperage uh, the charge time and where it says zero 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 two six that is how many milliamps it's charged and when it's done it will just start beeping and it will shut off so you don't catch your house on fire and I think that's about it so I would recommend this Venom Pro 3 charger to anyone it's a great charger charge all different types of batteries you can get it for about 80 bucks is what I got mine for well thank you subscribe like comment do whatever you do see you next time this is Nathan Higgins with Blazing RC